Cecropias are among the largest and most beautiful moths in America, and it's fascinating to watch their life cycle. Laying one set of eggs in June, eating their way through July, and then pupating in cocoons that last over winter to start things over again next year. But life is never easy, and this year a devastating virus known as Whipfilcrankite wiped out an entire clutch of 180 larvae I observed on my silver maple tree. They started normally and were nearly half grown when the disease hit. A caterpillar ingested a random occlusion body found throughout nature, which immediately shut down the insect's natural immune system and caused it to stop feeding while the virus replicated. With amazing speed, the large caterpillar's insides were liquefied until it was nothing more than a bag of one billion viral occlusion bodies. Then the bag burst and the virus spread to other caterpillars. In a couple of weeks, it was all over. From my count, only two of the original 180 caterpillars survived a pupation age. That's extraordinarily efficient, a killing machine that rendered near total destruction. But fortunately elsewhere, other cecropias are unaffected to continue the species. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.